Another big game uh, tonight, another big win here against the Nichols. Uh, always, always give you a tough game, uh, the two NSUs. Uh, just kind of talk about uh, pulling out another victory here at home. Well, I think it's big. I thought our crowd, you know, deserves a lot of credit. They were huge for us down the stretch. I thought, um, you know, for Wednesday night to have a crowd like this was, was just really important for us. Um, I, Nichols is always a tough matchup because they play that uh, switching man matchup zone and it's hard to simulate in practice. But I thought we really came out in the second half and started executing and um, slipping and cutting to open space and really making plays. And give our kids a lot of credit. They didn't play well offensively in the first half, but um, continued to battle, continued to battle. We missed some free throws and that's uncharacteristic of this team. But again, they found a way to win. They found, you know, it's, you look at Chelsea Rogers, she goes two of 10 two of eight, but has 12 boards. And she's playing inside with the Monsters. So just all those little things. Tia Youngblood had some great minutes, some great passes for us down the stretch. And that's a freshman in a, a role with the ball in her hands at critical times. And just proud of their resiliency and uh, being able to execute down the stretch and make tough shots. When you, when you got here, there wasn't really a lot of uh... Yeah, I guess thought about you guys coming in here and you know the competition level, but now you've been here a couple of years. Everybody's giving you their best shot, game in and game out. Every game here it seems like it's a couple possessions at the wire, uh, big targets on your back, but you guys are responding real well. It is, you know, and I think that speaks to the maturity and the experience of this team, especially the returners. They experienced that championship run last year, and they experienced that tough first year of. of building a culture and figuring out how to win. Um, this seems pretty good in close games because I think our guard play is uh, has been very good. We only turned it over eight times and um, I think we had four or five of those at the half. So the second half was pretty efficient. But they know and we've talked to them, the difference now is like you said, there is a target on your back and people want to come in in here and pray through and beat you because it is a tough place to play. And that's a credit to those, those young ladies in that locker room of how hard they've worked and how much they've invested. But um, again, you're going to get everybody best shot you've got to fight back and respond and make the little plays and, and do what it takes to win. You mentioned uh, the guard play Janelle Perez you know great down the stretch as always. Keisha Lee had a great game. I think Jason Mitchell she had a thousand career points tonight. Beatrice at her uh, six, career high 16. Uh, yeah, it's always stepping up. For you. Yeah our perimeter was very big for us tonight. You know B's minutes off the bench were huge. Keisha only played five minutes in the first half got in some foul trouble and that was um, you know that takes you out of some of your stuff you're trying to execute offensively, but I thought she responded beautifully in the second half. We don't talk a lot about individual accomplishments, but uh, being in a, a thousand point score is a big deal and um, something we're very proud of her. Um, you know, we'll go in here and I'll say something to effective. I wish you would have scored those five a little earlier in the game, um, but so proud of how she's grown and matured and um, excited about, you know, having another half, half of this season and then next year with her. Six and one in conference play now. Are you? Uh pleased with uh, the start so far? Well, we'll take all six wins. We've had to earn those. We've come from behind, I think, in, in all of them, um, or five of the six. So uh, this team is figuring out who they are and what their identity is. But I think we've got to continue to develop and grow and evolve. As the season goes, you're going to be scouted. People are going to start trying to take th certain things away from you. And we've got to continue to adapt and grow with that, those changes.